What's going on folks? It's Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech. I hope you are well. And the other day on the channel, I made a video talking all about proxies, how they work, how to generate them, and all that other fun stuff in DaVinci Resolve. And right at the end, I mentioned that certain cameras actually allow you to create these sorts of proxies in body, which means you don't then need to mess around creating them for yourself in DaVinci Resolve. Now, all manufacturers are a bit different. You'll need to go online, Google, to see if your camera can actually make the in-body proxies. But generally speaking, there'll be three types. If you're shooting on anything Blackmagic, it's dead simple because it's basically already done for you. Some cameras like my Lumix S5 Mark II, they create proxies with the exact same naming structure as the original clips, so that's pretty easy as well. And then others like Sony, who we do have an example of, they name their proxy with these slightly different file names, so you just need to do one additional step with those. Now, all of this also works on the Blackmagic camera app for Android and iOS, because you can actually set that to record proxies as well. And this structure, the structure the camera app uses, is exactly the same as the structure on a Pixis and a Blackmagic Cinema 6K. So let's grab the iPad and I'll show you how to turn those on and I'll show you how the files come out and how you can get those into Resolve. So here we are on the iPad on the little Blackmagic camera app. So we just need to open up our settings. Then we come down to media. There's a record proxy option at the very top. So we just enable that. And now we've got these proxies enabled. We can change the location, the file name, convention, all that sort of stuff. But other than that, once you've enabled that, you're pretty much good to go. So here's that clip we literally just recorded and in the same folder on whatever you've recorded to, so I recorded this to an SSD, we've got a folder called proxy and within there we've got our proxy file. So 957 meg versus 9.8 meg. So then all we do, we grab this, we only need to grab the original source, pop this into DaVinci Resolve or change that. We can drop this on a timeline and then use a little drop down at the top and change this to proxies and it's automatically gonna pick up that proxy file. So now we're editing with the proxy rather than with our original media. And it's that easy. That's exactly the same if you're using a Pixis or a Cinema 6K. But I'm not, because I'm of course using my Lumix S5 here. So what the Lumix likes to do is you need two SD cards and it records all of the originals to one and then proxies to the other. So here's all my original media from my Lumix S5 and I've just popped in my second SD card. So let's just drill into that. And as you can see, it creates this proxy folder and we should have pretty much or exactly the same files within here than within here. And we can see this top one, 573 meg, this one, 57 meg. Now, all we need to do is to manually create the structure because our names are the same. There's very little we need to actually do. So in my source media, this is the version that's on my computer at the moment. We're going to right click, do a new folder, and we just need to call this proxy. Open that up, grab all of our proxies off our SD card and we'll copy them into that folder. And while that's going, we can grab all of our original source media and drop this into our new project within DaVinci Resolve. We can change that. And as you can see, it's automatically picked up that proxy folder. It's automatically found all of those proxies with the exact same name. So it started to link them for us already. And if we drop them on the timeline, we're using our proxies. Now, if for whatever reason they don't actually link up, all you need to do, highlight all of the clips within your media pool, right click, and then come down to relink proxy media. I'll browse to that proxy folder, and then we can hit open. And again, it's just gonna search through, find everything with the same name and link those up. And it's as easy as that. Now, as mentioned, if you're using a Sony or whatever, and your proxies come out with a slightly different file name, you could rename them all if you wanted to. You could batch rename them. There are some apps which allow you to do that pretty quickly but you don't have to do that because if you do that relink process, DaVinci Resolve seems to be smart enough to pick it up using, I assume it's using things like the frame rate and the time code and some other things to do it for you. So you don't need to rename them. So let me show you. So I've got a bunch of Sony clips here. So what we're gonna do, do the same thing. Technically you don't have to, but we're gonna, we're gonna create a new folder called proxy. You could have them stored anywhere, but this just makes sense because it's the, the same process Resolve does itself. We'll open proxy. I've got my proxy files here, so I'm just gonna copy those in there. Now you will see all of these have got S03 at the end, and that's what it's done when it's created the proxies. We've got C2485, and this is just for S03 at the end. 
But not to worry, all we do, we grab our source media, our original clips, we drag those into DaVinci Resolve, we then right click and we come down to Relink Proxy Media. Once again, we browse to our proxies. So I've got this proxy folder right here, we'll open this up and then hit open. And as mentioned, even though they've got different file names, it's still gonna pick up all of my proxies. Again, if you don't see the PXY popping up, click on your little drop down and make sure you've got preferred proxies. And then we can just drag these onto the timeline like so, and we're using our proxy files. So there you go, super quick little video just to let you know how exactly to set that up. Hopefully you find it useful. Stick around on the channel because we're going to be talking about cloud workflows very soon, which also create proxies, but they create proxies in an ever so slightly different way. So we'll talk about that as well. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, folks. I'll see you when I see you.